Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Beauty Bomb Mom. If you're new here, my name is Leah. I do makeup tutorials and I share tips and tricks for busy moms like myself, or if you're just someone who's interested in makeup, skincare, beauty, all that fun stuff, I'm your girl. So I have been extremely busy the past few weeks. I've been working lots, um, school started for the kids, so you know, all that fun mom stuff. I haven't really had much time to make a video, so I thought I'd just come on here today, do kind of a get ready with me, kind of chat about the past few weeks. I am going to start by putting my cute little butterfly clips in, which I got from Joe Fresh. Okay, maybe that doesn't look so cute. And as you probably noticed, my hair is a lot lighter than it was in the last video. So I have been bleaching my hair slowly but surely, and I think it's been going well. Um, I might need a little bit of a trim, but that's okay. I'm really liking how it's turned out so far. So I'm gonna start with my number seven, Lift and Luminate. This has an SPF of 30. Basically, yeah, you wanna moisturize your skin before you start any makeup look and to me an SPF is really important because sun damage is a real thing guys. I know that we all like to have that bronzed tan look. You can get the same effect with a bronzer guys and still protect your skin. So yeah this is from Shoppers Drug Mart number seven lift and luminate. I believe it's around $29. I have a new setting spray. It's from Catrice. Little gift I got here so Prime and Fine prepares the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes the complexion. So let's go ahead and try this. Makes it look a little dewy, a little moisturized. Catrice, you can actually buy here in um, Alberta. In Red Deer, you can buy it at the Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutiques um, or online. I'm going to use an old favorite today, the Too Faced Born This Way. This is actually a concealer, but I have been using it as an all-over thing, and I, I'm going to just use it as a concealer today and then use a different foundation. Now, I know this is a little yellow for my skin tone, but I'm trying to use up what I've got, guys. I'm gonna have to be throwing this out soon. I think I've had it for a year and it's coming right up on that 12 month mark. So for my foundation, I'll just use my Cover Girl and Olay Simply Ageless. I love the way that this feels. It's a nice, creamy, like moisturizing foundation. Um, the Too Faced one is a little bit more of a thicker consistency but it does blend out quite nicely. I kind of am mixing the two together just to get a different shade because yeah, one was too yellow. In my last video, I used the NYX Wonder Stick and I accidentally put my highlighter on the bottom here. I thought when I bought this that it was actually like a concealer on one end, but no, it's a highlighter. So today I'm gonna actually do this the correct way so to do my contouring, I'm just going to put a little bit here, here, put a little bit up here, um, a little bit on my nose. And then instead of putting this underneath, I'm just going to put some up here as a highlight. It's going to look so much better. So go ahead and blend this in. So yeah, um, the boys started school a few weeks ago and my little guy's having a lot of separation anxiety, which is very, very sad to me. It's hard, hard enough to get them out the door and ready and go to school, but when they're crying and like literally tears are streaming down his face when I leave and it's just, it's heartbreaking. Um, my older boy was the same way, but I mean, I guess you could say I, I was kind of prepared for it, but still it doesn't make it any less easier, if that makes sense. Okay, so I blended that in. See how quick and easy that was? Now I'm gonna do the nose contour. Yeah, NYX Wonder Stick. You can also get that at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, this shade is Universal Light. Oh yeah, okay, so then I'm gonna do my highlight now. So, yes, my mistake last time. 
I'm just putting my highlight up here because it's a highlighter and not, not a concealer. Blush. Let's uh, keep it going with the cream products. We've got the e.l.f. Putty Blush in this pretty shade. Um, I don't see a name on here, so I can't tell you what shade this is, but it's just a nice, fresh, bright pink. I've really been liking um, cream products lately. So, e.l.f. Um, you can buy online um, at Shoppers, or you can get it a few more places in town, but I'm kind of partial to Shoppers Drug Mart. And, um, yeah, we're going to set everything first. We'll do the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and do that on my forehead, my nose, and then for my, under my eyes, take a smaller brush and just pack everything in place so it does not budge. I will use my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil just to kind of fill in my brows a little bit. I just realized that I didn't turn the light on for my ring light. So cool. <laughs> I guess I could do that now, but it might look weird because the whole video is going to be filmed in this lighting. My bathroom lighting. Alright, so that one's good enough, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, so I've really been enjoying my new job. Um, get to utilize some, some of my skills. And, you know, just it's important for people that have children, moms. Um, I used to be a stay-at-home mom. But, you know, there's more to life than being a mom. And being a mom is important. But... We cannot ignore our passions. We cannot ignore the things that make us happy. Yes, we do make a lot of sacrifices for our children, but you cannot wear yourself thin and ignore the things that make you happy. And I did that for a long time, and I'm just putting my foot down now. So yes, I'm, I'm doing more things that bring me joy and make me happy, and I think everyone needs to find that balance in life. And I know it's hard sometimes, it is hard, but you deserve it, we all deserve it. Milani eyeshadow primer, one of my favorites. An eyeshadow primer helps like immensely when you're doing makeup. And this one is one of the best, in my opinion. Okay, so we'll let that dry. I got a new palette from Wet n Wild. It's cute. It's the 10 Pan Palette Fantasy FM Markers. It was in the Halloween section, but you know, I would wear some of these colors every day. It doesn't have to be Halloween. You can do like a neutral look here. You can do a fun kind of like a nice warm look. You can do an intense look, a smoky eye. You can do anything. I'm going to start with this shade here. Um, There is no name for this shade, so it's Medium brown, I suppose. And look how pigmented these colors are. Like amazing, beautiful. Okay. So, this is my fluffy brush from Morphe. Uh, I don't know what number of brush it is, but I like it a lot. So yeah, I've been contemplating making a video the past... Um, few weeks while well, my little guy's in school, but I've been working late hours and I have just needed that time to relax in the mornings. Sometimes I'll have a nap. Sometimes I will just get some housework done. Other times, you know, just sit and watch Netflix. Nothing wrong with that. Usually serial killer documentaries or things like Love is Blind, you know, one extreme or the other, I guess. Um, now I think I will do... Should I do some fun colors today? Let's do this purple. We'll just put it in the, the corner here. So pigmented. Don't worry, it's gonna look good once it's done. <laughs> Maybe I should turn my ring light on now. What do you think? Come on. Woo! Cool. Cool beans. 
and I can see what I'm doing a heck of a lot better now. So that is amazing. Yes, I'm glad I turned that on. But like, do you see how pigmented these colors are? Like they are quite nice. Take a little bit of that cream color there just to soften, soften the old edge. I'm kind of a nerd if you haven't noticed. Okay, I don't know if I should use, cause I've been using this nice shimmery color. Maybe I'll incorporate a couple of these different ones. I'm gonna try this orange. It's pretty. When you apply it with your finger, it is a bit more pigmented than if you apply it with just like a, um, a dry brush. You can also kind of spray your brush with a setting spray to intensify the look. So for instance, let's do that just to show you guys. I'm gonna spray this brush with my Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Then we're gonna dip it in to, let's do purple. I'm just like hoping and praying that this look will turn out. I think it will. Once we get everything said and done, it just applies nice and smooth. You can use a little bit as a liner. Smudge it. If it's, if it's looking weird, just smudge it a little bit. It'll be okay. I'm going to add a little bit of some yellow. Just trust me. Trust the process. So, I don't know if I should leave it at this or maybe add like some kind of funky eyeliner. Maybe I'll add a bit of this black just to show you guys how intense it is. This brush is from Morphe as well. It's an angle brush. So we'll pick up a little bit of that powder. Wow, this is like really intense, this powder. Like, not kidding. Okay, let's uh... Let's do some liner. Cute. Cute, cute. Oh, fallout. Now you know that you get fallout from this palette. Oh, okay, so when that happens, guys, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. All is not lost. Wipe it off as I drop everything on the floor. That's okay. That's life. Just add a little bit more foundation. You're good to go. This is Wet n Wild's just plain old black eyeliner. Look at the size of this thing. It's wider than my face and the price is $1.99. So like, hello, you literally can't go wrong for this size, the price and the quality. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of thickness and fullness to my lashes by, by uh, drawing a black line on my waterline. Little secret, little hack there for you. And I'll put a little bit on the bottom, just a little bit. You don't need to line your whole lashes. You can just kind of fill in a little bit just to give the illusion of a thicker lash line like so mascara um this was another gift couverance a french brand i think it's similar to aven if you guys have heard of that just the high tolerance mascara in black but i really like the way it makes my lashes feel like it does give a lot of volume it does give a lot of length Surprisingly, for being, I think this is a hypoallergenic mascara and like dermatologist tested. Very nice for sensitive eyes. As I just put a rainbow on my eyes. Anyway, but yeah, the mascara is nice. So look at that. It's just beautiful. And it's good for the lashes too. So you can't go wrong. I don't like to put a ton of mascara on my bottom lashes, just enough to kind of thicken them up a little, a little bit more drama. And I think I'm going to go with my NYX 
Shine Loud Goal Getter. Feels nice. It's very easy to control. So it goes on really smooth. It uh, applies easily. I just have to fill in this little spot here. It's, it's drying quite quickly, so you have to actually get it on there in a hurry and yeah. <laughs> There's a gloss that goes over top. We're gonna put the gloss on over top. It's like a little brush, like a paintbrush. I feel like I'm in art class again. Art was always one of my favorite subjects. We'll uh, finish off with uh, Prime and Fine again. Take out my bad boy hair clips there. There we have it. My eyebrows, I think. Um, since I dyed my hair, I've, I've been trying to find like a good shade of eyebrow pencil that kind of goes with my hair. So I'm not quite sure what one is gonna work for me. I'm gonna take you out to the natural light so you can get a better idea of what this looks like. Here I am with my lovely spider plant. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is what it looks like in more of like a natural light setting. Ooh. Frick, my vent is like blowing my hair. But yeah. So it's not like super intense. I'm not finding a good angle here. Okay, that's better. So, yeah, this is it. You can see all the colors, the purple, the orange, the yellow. Just a very fun palette. Fun look. I don't know if I'd wear it every day, um, but hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Man, I'm rusty. I need to get, get back into the program. Okay. <laughs> um... I hope you guys enjoyed my getting ready with me video and yeah, sorry I wasn't more entertaining for you, but next time I'll come up with something better for you. <laughs> so hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you will know every time I'm uploading a new video. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It really does mean the world to me and um, yeah. We'll talk to you guys soon. Lots of love.